Usually there's like a nice elaborate breakfast on my day off, but today is my only day off for a little while, so uh, it's going to be quick and easy calories. Don't worry, it's not for the dog. Babe, you want breakfast? When life looks this overwhelming, start off with basics like clear pathways and clear one surface. So that drop cloth's gonna go. Hi folks, see anything different? The olive green wall is gone, or is it? It's actually in the pantry. So today I'm just gonna do all the dirty work. So I got my hair tied back in a ponytail and we're gonna reset life because this is what we're dealing with. All right, stay tuned. Baby steps first. Um, we're gonna put in some shelf liners so our hard work uh, isn't wasted. module is my snack module so I consolidated uh, breakfast bars and biscotti this is RX bars which I love but um, I think from if you buy it from Amazon it comes in bars like these so I keep one open and one closed I guess there must have been a sale and I truly hate this bar so <laughs> it's been sitting there for a while maybe my husband will eat it so this is the snack module. I forgot another dangerous house trip, um, corn chips. So that goes in here. So that's it, no more buying snacks. There are only four items in here, but you can see that if you just corral things down, this is a mental note, do not shop for snacks for like two months. This is my pasta and grains module. So penne, some sort of low carb expired noodles. Good time to look over what's expired. Rice noodles. What else do we have? Shells. Yeah, that's expired too. Um, so this is a good time to say, okay, what's expired? I also keep tiny little, um, like this is farro. Sometimes farro is really difficult to digest and HelloFresh will send me a meal that it's okay, but I'm just not in the mood to eat farro that day. I just save these and then use them in future for um, like a salad. You can put grains in salads. And everybody needs spaghetti. Just always have one box of spaghetti, even if you're a minimalist. Doesn't hurt. These are bulk, like pulses, grains. So chickpeas, cannellini beans, black eyed peas. Sorry, we're both working from home today. And quinoa. I don't know why, but quinoa is really hard to digest. And um, I don't think it keeps very long. It's hard to tell. Someone said, like, comment below what's the shelf life of quinoa. But um, I've learned a great way to eat it, and that's in soup. So I'll hang on to it till the first time I make soup. And if I don't use it then, 
you know it's time to say goodbye okay so that's my green module this next thing i'm thinking about doing it and doing it only for you why because it's too pretty but it sure will look good on a video and that is using these large beautiful pottery barn mixing bowls for ugly stuff and what do i mean by ugly stuff so i'm quite certain that potatoes have to be stored a certain way but um our fridge is getting really full so this is gonna have to go into the basement uh, man cave bar fridge so canned goods can be um a challenge here's why so I have a lot of canned goods, but not a lot of the same one. So I have in the same canned good module, I have water chestnuts and I have bamboo shoots. And that's clearly for Asian cooking, right? And then um, black beans, I use it more for like Latino cooking and the one can of pinto beans and the one can of butternut squash. It's getting cold so obviously the butternut squash will be used soon. A can of corn and then the rest seem to be soup. Now you never know when someone's going to have a dental procedure and need soup so I kept uh, this can right here but I'm thinking about donating because I'm vegetarian and this is sirloin burger with country vegetables and this is um, cream of broccoli yeah so I'm thinking those should be donated and then an odd can of dog pumpkin puree <laughs> if you have dogs you know why I have that and this is an odd can of peanut butter so I'm gonna put the peanut butter on top of the dog food now this is something I bought just in case. It's an emergency tikka masala. You never know when you're not in the mood to cook and you need like a simmer sauce. So that is my canned goods consolidated. This next module is for um, collecting little jars. Now, every now and then you're gonna have um, someone say, hey, can I have two teaspoons of harissa? Now, harissa is a North African spice, and most of us don't have that in our cabinet unless you have HelloFresh. So what I'm doing is if this doesn't have a friend, it out it goes. And I keep like one or two mason jars. I try to wrangle my mason jar obsession. For some reason, because of the size of our pantry, things just gravitate into it. So I have a pitcher. I have you know these disposable bowls i have these solar cups for drinking and they shouldn't even be up here they should actually go to the basement so draw some boundaries between like summer party stuff and then the season that you're in and you'll be surprised how quickly uh, things become less cluttered well folks if you stuck with me this far i just want to say thank you because i'm just going to clean up all this mess right here of all the trimmings from the um, the shelf liner i'm going to go to ikea and actually make a trip because something tells me we will need more shelf liners in future and i'm going to clean up all this mess and give you a tour of the pantry. I've divided the pantry into two pieces. This is all the food and over here this is all um, I call it like dishes and storage. So let's go th through it one shelf at a time starting at the top. This is my vinegar and oil module. So I keep balsamic vinegar, white wine vinegar, and as I mentioned before, I purposely hide the olive oil from dark sunlight, and that's why this has a special place on the top shelf. These are all the empty canisters. I have limits. I love these bottles. I believe this is either Nescafe or Taster's Choice, but these are old coffee bottles, and I really like them because they fit nicely in my small hands. And I have um, them in three sizes, one, two, and there's one at the back. 
So these are the empty canisters because you never know when you're going to get, you know, extra of something. I used to be a cake decorator. I'm not anymore. But once in a while you're going to make someone a coffee cake for brunch. So I keep this for traveling purposes. And what it's hiding are my extra Pyrex bowls. Over here is just an odd stray um, can of flour and it's just a reminder that if it's visual if it's out and it's visible you're going to use it this is our picnic basket it's on the very top shelf where i can't reach because um, the season for picnics is over on the second shelf we have ugly things i don't like throwing away straws so if we order takeout i really don't order straws but once in a while they throw it in and i save them because i don't want them in the garbage and chopsticks this is maple syrup and sometimes you get these odd things from HelloFresh like a uh, package of like veg vegetable stock. Don't throw those away, those are really flavorful. This is the snack module, so you know, salty snacks. I think I mentioned this before as a habit controller. You can control your eating habits if you just re-engineer your environment around you. So if your weakness is biscotti, make it hard to reach the biscotti. You have to remove this, you have to open the container, and that's going to make you less likely to eat it and really think about whether are you really hungry or are you just bored. This is a compromise. My husband loves Ziploc bags. I do not. I think that's a whole lot of unnecessary plastic, but um, harmony in a marriage is, means more to me than having minimalism so this is called a compromise module over here these are just empty canisters because you just never know when someone will say can i please have two teaspoons of harissa and unless you have an extensive spice cabinet there's i'm pretty sure you do not have the north african spice harissa so i have these tiny little bottles i also pack sauces for work in those this is a sentimental module. Now, everybody, if they go through their pantry, is going to come across something from their parents or a relative that's passed. This is what this represents. Do I have it in me to, de to declutter right now? No, I don't. But I just put it away so, you know, when it's time to move, we'll just know what's in there. This is more serving dishes. These are my favorite bowls right here. They're square bowls but they have a circular uh, depression in them and i understand that because of covid we're not we won't be having very many gatherings so maybe we'll make that decision and depending on how things go with the pandemic now in here in the corner you have large medium and small pottery barn bowls and they nest now, if it wasn't for you, my audience, there's no way I'd be using these bowls. But because you're here, I tried to make things look pretty. So if I don't see it, I'm not going to use it. So if I see potatoes, it's just a mental note. Use up the potatoes. So here on this row is on the, I believe, one, two, three. Third row is my work lunch bag. Fourth row is my pasta module so in the pasta module i even include ramen and sometimes HelloFresh gives me things like farro and i don't feel like eating farro and i'm not really thrilled about their recipe but i'm a really good cook so i'll just use it in future for another thing and this is further divided into a different kind of module because i went through an obsession with salads where i thought i was going to write a book on salads but this is actually if you wash your greens store them in here and it comes with a lid and it looks like charcoal it's from o oxo oxo and you can keep all of this organized and corralled in your like pasta and noodle module. Over here are dried goods like cannellini beans and black eyed peas. Just a mental note, if you don't see it, you won't use it. And at the very bottom right there are miscellaneous spices, for instance, hello fresh spices or leftovers that we want to use. And this is miscellaneous liquids. So we have canola oil, we have Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce, I, I don't think anyone can pronounce that, and some hot sauce. 
And that right there is the tour of the pantry. Thank you everybody for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.